In this problem, we're told there is no charge at the upper terminal of the element in the figure for t is less than zero. At t equals zero, a current of 110 e to the minus 2400 t milliamps, where t is in seconds, enters the upper terminal. And so in this problem, we're we'll solving for three different things, uh, but let's just write down what we're given. So we know at t equals zero, there's gonna be a current, right? We'll call it i, is gonna be equal to 110 e to the minus 2400 t. And so this is gonna be our current. And so let's just go ahead and start with A. So for A, essentially what we're gonna be find is finding the charge, right, the charge function for when T is greater than zero. So we know that this is gonna be the current when uh, T is greater than zero, because this is what happens right at T equals zero and then goes on till infinity. So essentially what we're gonna do is manipulate this function to get it in terms of charge. So how do we do that? So basically you need to know that current I is equal to DQ DT. And so if we know that this function is uh, right relating the current and the charge we can manipulate it in a way to get uh, just the charge so if you multiply both sides by dt i'm just going to do this quick and then if you take the integral of both sides that's going to uh, remove the d so you're just going to have q of t is equal to the integral of i of t or just i dt so it doesn't really matter so yeah this is going to be your uh the way we're going to solve it but keep in mind that we're dealing with it greater than uh zero so what we have to do is since this isn't throughout the entire thing. We have to put a zero here and a t here since it's right at t equals zero. And then the t is just to remain as a function. So essentially what we're gonna do is just plug this function in. And then when we do that, we're gonna be able to get it in the correct way. And so here I forgot to write the units, so that was my bad, but essentially this is in milliamps. So milliamps, and then when you wanna actually solve this, it's easier just to convert everything to standard units. So I'm just gonna write this as amps. So to convert this, it's just times 10 to the minus three. Right. So essentially, it's just going to be I equals 0 0.110 E to the minus 2400 T. So, uh, yeah, this is in amps now. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So we have this. So Q of T is going to be equal to the integral. Right. So keep in mind, this is your part A. 0 to T of 0 0.110 E to the minus 2400 T. And then this is in amps now. And so let's go ahead and solve this integral. So essentially we just gotta divide by minus 2400. Hopefully by now you know how to solve integrals. So yeah, we wanna take uh, 0 0.110 divided by minus 2400 e to the minus 2400 t. So go ahead and do this right here. So 0 0.110 divided by minus 2400. And you're gonna get 4.58 three, let's try that, or minus 4.583 uh, e to the minus 2400, or sorry, four, minus 4.583 times 10 to the minus five e to the minus 2400 t. And so keep in mind we're evaluating this from zero to t. And so if we wanna go ahead and do that, uh, what we gotta do is just plug in t and then plug in uh, zero but uh, i'm going to simplify this and make it into the units that they want us to put it in which is uh we're doing with charge but we're gonna make it micro just because we have a small number so if we make this micro uh since this is times 10 to the minus 5 if we move it one over it's going to be 10 to the minus 6 so essentially minus 45.83 and then e to the minus 2400 t and so keep in mind that this is just now in micro coulombs instead of coulombs because we just got rid of this part uh, and so now we can evaluate from 0 to t. So plugging in t is just going to remain the same thing. So minus 45.83 e to the minus 2400 t. And then keep in mind when you do this, you have to minus plugging in 0. Uh, so when we plug in 0, this is just going to go to 1. So essentially you just have this. So it's minus minus 45.83. So this is going to become a plus now. So essentially you're going to have... Um, this right here let me put it in the form that they had it in so yeah so we have let me write it like this minus 45.83 e to the minus 2400 t and then plus 45.83 so yeah what we can do is just factor out this and then move it to the front so 45.83 and then it's going to be one and then minus all i did was move this over here and then factor out the 45.83 and then one minus e to the minus 2400 t.
And yeah, so keep in mind our units, what we did back here, it was in microcoulombs. So this is also going to be in microcoulombs. I move that, let me move it back. There we go. Microcoulombs. But yeah, so I might have messed up on the math, but the general idea is there. I'm pretty sure it's right. But yeah, essentially, this is going to be your A. Uh, so now we have the charge, or the function of charge when T is greater than zero. Um, and now we need to find the total charge that accumulates at the up, uh, upper terminal. So the difference with this part is we're finding the total charge that accumulates. And whenever you hear that term, essentially, you're going to want to think of doing an integral to the infinity. So you want to find what this equals when you go all the way, like infinite in time. So just plug an infinity into this, right? You could redo your integral with infinity there, but you can just um, leave it the same. So uh, yeah, all you got to do is just plug an infinity into this essentially. And what you're going to find is that it's essentially just this value. Because if I plug in infinity here, since this is uh, e to the negative something, it's just one over it. One over infinity is essentially zero, right? Because this is just going to go to zero since it's just getting smaller and smaller. So this is this will just go to zero when you plug in infinity. And then it's just going to be one times this. So essentially, it's just your number out, uh, out front. So ours it was 45.83, and then it's microcoulombs. So this is going to be your B. So we have A, we have B. Now uh, we're going to find C. So C is a similar idea, except for we're just going to be plugging in the time value they actually give us. So if the current is stopped at T equals 0.9 milliseconds, how much charge has accumulated, accumulated at the upper terminal? So essentially what you're going to want to do is just plug in uh, 0.9. So uh, once again, you can do it with the integral, just starting from the beginning, but you don't have to. You could just plug it in here, but I'm just going to plug it in here since it's already solved. Since essentially you're just this is just the function q of t, and if you plug in a value at a function, you're just going to get what the uh, charge is at that time, right? So plugging it in, uh, we have forty five point eight three, and then they're telling us 0 0.9 milliseconds. So make sure your units are correct. One minus e to the minus twenty four hundred, and then 0 0.9 milliseconds is 0 0.9 times ten to the minus three. So keep in mind our units again. This is microcoulombs. So go ahead and plug this in. Let me plug it in. 45.83, 1 minus uh, one minus e to the minus 2400 times 0 0.9 times 10 to the minus 3. Yeah, 45.83. Yeah, should be good. Yeah, and so essentially what I get here is 40.5. So 40.544, but yeah, you can just round. And then it's in microcoulombs again. So yeah, let me go ahead and do this. So 40.5 and then microcoulombs. Yeah, so your numbers are going to be different, obviously. But essentially, if you just follow the same idea where you're following, the, making the integral of it and manipulating the function to get it in the right way, and then just plugging in whether it's going total charge or at a specific time, you just plug it into the function essentially. Uh, but yeah, so uh, this is going to be your answers and hopefully you found this useful.